From the ashes of hell rises a piece of media that shines a ray of hope in the face of Pokemon fans who have been drowning in a sea of emptiness. Oh screw it, Pokemon Concierge is amazing! Pokemon Concierge is a stop motion animation about a Pokemon hotel manager and it is the greatest piece of Pokemon content ever created. And I would go as far as to say I would let the main character Haru use my body as a pogo stick and break every single one of my body parts as long as she becomes my friend. I have a thing for quirky redhead girls. Pokemon Concierge is the single piece of media that has been missing in the Pokemon universe for 10 years now. The world of Pokemon is supposed to be this land of infinite possibilities with something new and fresh ready to meet you at the front door. And yet over the last 10 years, the Pokemon company hasn't done much to tap into that infinite possibilities. In fact, the only games that have come out are a few competitive games, the Mystery Dungeon Remake, and a shitload of mainline games that are really, really good. Games like Pokemon Pokemon Conquest, Ranger, and even Snap show the world of Pokemon without putting much of an emphasis on battling and catching. And we really haven't seen any new side projects in a really long time. And this fantastical world in which we've grown to love is slowly dying because we haven't really seen much of the Pokemon world except through the lens of the mainline game. And then out of nowhere, Pokemon Concierge shows up, puts its wee wee on the table, looks you dead in the eye, and says, I'm home, baby! It's a brand new adventure into the Pokemon universe about a job position we didn't know existed two weeks ago. This adventure has nothing to do with trading, battling, or caching, but rather being a receptionist at a Pokemon hotel. My dream job! And that's the entire plot, and it's made me cry twice. We follow this shy, quirky girl named Haru who went through a breakup and stepped on some gum. Okay, the writing is a bit childish, but bear with me. She's really hot. Oh my god, I want to fuck wax figure. The entire series is done in stop motion animation and it's as beautiful as me. Each scene, each frame, each thingy is a marvel to look at. Pokemon Company and Netflix have really stepped up their game when producing this show and everyone who's worked on this show deserves a big old hug and a shitload of money. But honestly the worst part about this show is it ends as soon as it begins. It really sucks because <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> Haru is just your basic self-insert character who's scared of Pokemon and is awkward, timid, and doesn't know what to do 90% of the time. Her job is to make Pokemon staying at the hotel enjoy themselves, and Haru as the main character of the series is perfect because we get to see the real struggles of taking care of Pokemon. The show is a beautiful love letter to everyone who really loves Pokemon and wants to see something they're not usually accustomed to. But even though the show is amazing, it made me realize something. Why haven't we gotten more side projects like this? As much as I I love the Pokemon company monitoring my sleep patterns or knowing exactly where I have been in the last few weeks, I kind of want to play some side games again. Pokemon side games and side projects do a fantastic job at expanding the Pokemon universe in a way the mainline games don't really do. Pokemon Conquest puts us in Warlord Japan and makes us fight other people with the power of Pokemon. Okay, that's not that different than the mainline games. Or Pokemon Ranger that puts us in charge of rescuing Pokemon instead of enslaving them. And lastly, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon that shoots us in a world where humans don't exist and it allows us to explore this majestic island where poverty, hunger, and war don't exist. Why do we exist? These side games may not sell as much as the mainline games, but they do a fascinating job at allowing us to explore these wonderful worlds in different ways. Pokemon isn't just about battling, trading, and catching, but it's a universe with so many cool and interesting ideas that we haven't seen much of ever since we've jumped into the Switch era. And this ever-expanding universe is becoming more and more dull because there isn't anything new to explore anymore. I really want to play Pokemon Rangers again. Just imagine being able to play Pokemon Rangers with motion controls and doing this! I know a lot of people don't play the Pokemon side games because they're not interested in anything that isn't associated with the mainline games. You all suck sometimes. But honestly, these side games do a wonderful job at placing you in a new Pokemon world that's just purely fun. In order to fix the dull state of the Pokemon universe, we just need more side projects like Pokemon Concierge or Pokemon Ranger, Conquest, and even Pokemon Park. For fuck's sake, we pay for a subscription service that is essentially just a Pokemon storage unit and nothing else. Why couldn't it be interesting like a Pokemon park where you can go and interact with your own Pokemon. We're fucking paying for it! Do something, Game Freak! Even though technically it's not Game Freak who makes it. 
but f you game freak pokemon for the last 10 or so years has been taking the easy path in everything and has done little to try to make the world of pokemon feel like this fantastic world that has so much to offer and even though in my opinion it has one of the greatest fictional universes ever created the pokemon company hasn't done much to even scratch the surface of this everlasting universe and after watching pokemon concierge it's made me realize something make more side projects i hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and honestly i can't wait until you see what i have cooking up bye bye oh and happy new year